Okay, so I'm here in Word, I'm building a sales report, and I have some data over in Excel, and I want to bring it in here, and I want to be able to change the data in Excel and automatically update in Word. They both don't need to be open at the same time for that update to happen. The reason I want to do that in this instance is because I haven't finished getting all the data I want from Excel yet, and I might still be entering that in. However, I'm creating the sales report and I want to get the layout and put all the elements in that I might want from say Excel or, for, or from anywhere else, pictures and things like that. So I have some options. I can actually just paste it in and it's not linked. I'm just pasting it and I can change it in Word if I like. But it's much better if it automatically updates from Excel so some of the calculations would just filter their way through. So to do this, uh, this is Word 2013 works the same in Word 2010 and 2007. This feature is available in all versions of Excel. On the Mac, you're looking for Paste Special, and it might just look a little bit different, but you can do it again with just right-clicking, and your options will appear. However, I'm now going to go to Excel, and here it is. Here's my table. I'm going to copy this. Now, you see these values here could be calculations, so if I change them here, they would uh, automatically change when I put them into Word. I could just click on Copy up on the ribbon here. I'm on the Home tab, or I could right-click. A lot of people do this and just hit Copy. I could also do Control-C or Command-C if I'm using a Mac. Switching back to Word now, I'm going to just paste this in. Now, I could just go to Paste, click on the little bit down the bottom here, and you'll see I've got these little options here. Now, I could click on this Paste Special, which brings up a dialog box, which is kind of the sort of older way of doing it, but they still keep it in here, and you might see this on other versions or on the Mac. And you could just paste it in, no linking, but you'll see here it's got this Paste Link option, and I could simply choose a format here, how I want it, like formatted text, I could have it come over as a picture, HTML format, but you can't really see what it's doing. If I, if I was to click on it, it now comes up and you see it. So I'm just going to undo that by doing Control Z. It's Command Z on a Mac. So the advantage of having it and being able to use it like this without using that dialog box is if I click here on this arrow, you'll see that as I move over any of these options, it's actually giving me a preview. If I move away, it goes away. I could right click and do the same thing. So this might vary slightly depending on the version you've got, but in recent years, you know, say the past eight years, they've all been very similar, particularly on the Windows version. So you'll see here that these ones here are just simply for pasting, and it depends on whether you want to just keep the formatting from Excel, and you can just see what it does when you hover over them. These two here do the same, but you can see it's got a little chain link here, and it links it over. This one will just paste it in as a picture, and this one will just do plain text, and you can see here it's not linking, neither is this one, and this one's just going to be plain text, and you can do whatever you like. I'm going to go for this one because I want it in a grid, and it's got the link, and I can then show you what it does. So if I click on this one here, it's now put it in there. I can do some formatting, but I just want to show you that if I click here, all of these go grey. That's because they're fields which are indicating that it's linking back to Word. I can easily just click outside of that, anywhere off of here, and it should disappear. And there you go. So it's sometimes a case of just clicking in the right place. Now what if I want this top row here to be bold? I can just highlight that. You're probably familiar with bolding. I could click here to do the bold. I could click here on my Home tab to do the bold. I could do Control c or Command-B if it's a Mac. Sorry, not Control c Let's copy Command-B for bold. There you are. If I just click outside of that now, it's bold there. So notice at the top here, first row, that says 2013 here and 850. I'm going to change that. I'm going to go back to Excel. I'm going to change that to 2014. And I'm going to change that to 900. Now if I open up Word and Excel's not open, it will still do this link. So let me go back to Word. And you can see here that it has now changed to exactly the same figure, 2014 and 900 there. So really handy and just 
helps actually build everything up. So useful thing about this is these could be calculations. You may not have finalized the calculations or the calculations are going to change or not your data, your data is in there yet. It could be you need to present the report. Maybe the figures are going to change, maybe for another quarter, and you want the figures to automatically update, and then you only have to change a few things in the sales report. So many good reasons for being able to link it from Excel into Word, and that is how you do it using Paste Special.